we should be able to look at these two equations and determine the value of x. I mean, a number plus 3 equals 5, the number's got to be 2. And on this side here, we got 3 plus a number equals 5, and that number is also 2. And the only difference between these two equations is the fact that the x and the 3 have been flipped around. The order has been changed. Otherwise, it is the exact same equation. Now, how do we, how do we figure out the value of x using a system? Because they're not always going to be this easy. The equations do get more challenging as we go. And we need a system that works. And the system is called, and I got this from a student. I cannot take credit from this. The system is called monkey see if you're taking notes, what I, which I highly recommend, you write this down. Monkey see, monkey do. Which means whatever the monkey sees, the monkey does. I'll show you a little bit what that means. And also keep in mind the rule of opposites. Do the opposite operation. What does that mean? It means, first off, we need to start... Again, write this all down. These are part of your notes. Start on the variable side. Start on the side with the variable. And by variable, I am talking about the variable, the letter, the X or the Y or whatever letter I use. And eliminate all the numbers. Eliminate them all. You guys play Clash of Clans, you know how to do that. You just kill them off. You look at the numbers that are on the variable side. We are starting on the side of the variable. Here's the variable side. And you kill off all the numbers that are sitting beside the X. You want to isolate the X. How do you eliminate plus 3? He's the number that's getting in the way. To eliminate plus 3, we must write minus 3 and do it right below it. Put it lined up exactly like this. And on the other side, because monkey see, monkey do. Monkey sees my negative 3, minus 3. And on the other side of the equal sign, monkey does the same. And now we have a line over here. What is that? It is a line, but it is more than a line. You know back earlier in your grades, you had 24 plus 13 and you made a line? You know what that line meant? It meant equals, and we are doing the exact same thing over here. This is a long version of this line here. It is equals. So now we just go and say 5 take away 3 is 2. The equals has to fall down. 3 minus 3, it is killed off. It is gone. It is eliminated. We don't write anything. We write x. It says now x equals 2. The value of x is 2. The next thing you would do is you would take 2 and you would plug it in here. You would substitute it and you would get 2 plus 3 equals 5. And since that is a true statement, you know your answer is a true and accurate answer. But how do we do it on this side? Because the order has been messed around with. It is no different. All you do is you start on the variable side and you say, look at that 3. We need to kill them off. We need to clash and clan them. So we have a 3 here. How do we kill a 3? We put a minus 3. Because that is by default a positive 3. We kill it by a minus 3. And monkey see, monkey do, he does it on the other side. Here's the equal sign. Imagine a, an invisible barrier there. You do it on the other side of the equals. You put minus 3. And doing that gets you 2. You bring down the equals. 3's are gone. He's just 0. And you get positive x. But we don't need to write that positive. We could choose to kill him off and just assume it is a positive. X equals 2. Plug it back here. And you get 3 plus 2 equals 5. It works. Now you also must know how to do this using integer tiles. I'm going to show you how to do that. You take a positive X because we assume it is a positive since there is no symbol beside it. You take a positive X. And then you put beside it a positive 3. And positive 3 is going to be these little ones here. Let me do something with this. There's one thing I didn't do, which was, now we're ready. Put a positive x and three positives. And you would draw this. You're taking notes now. I want you to draw this. And we will put on the other side positive 5. We know it is a positive 5 by now because there is no symbol. 
we will put an equal sign. Now the rule states start on the variable side, the variable side's over here. Kill off all the numbers other than x. So we kill off these three positives by putting three blue pieces. These three blue pieces, we are going to put them down. But monkey see, monkey do. And he does it as well on the other side. Now these guys, they are obliterated. I can just delete them if you want, since you cannot erase them or, you know, you, you don't have access to deletion powers. You can just simply put an X over it and say they are deleted. They're gone. For myself, I will go like this. They are done. And these two here, these two groups, they're gone because they cancel each other out. And what we have left, ladies and gentlemen, is X. This is an X equals positive 2. That is the value of X. Now you can see what we're going to do. This is going to be exactly the same thing. We are going to put one positive X and three of those red ones because this is positive 3. And on the other side of the equals, we will put positive 5 and it will look exactly the same as the last question. No different. We will put our equal sign over here. And then we start on the variable side. It's over here. We kill everything beside the variable, which is the X. We will put three blue ones. You see how it's an identical type question. We kill it off. Monkey see, monkey do. So we'll put three blue ones on this side. They will kill these guys. Oops. Let's do it like from bottom to top. And we are left with X equals two. That is the value. Now what about these two here? We start again on the variable side. That part is the same. But on the variable side we have takeaway six. How do we kill the takeaway six? We have to kill anything beside, we don't like killing, but we have to do it in algebra. We have to destroy all these numbers and kill them off. But we leave X, x alone. We like X. We don't like that negative six beside X. X wants to be alone. So we will do the opposite. We will put positive six and positive six on this side. Because what is that monkey like? Yeah, he likes to do. And negative two plus six is positive four. We will drop the equal sign. Negative six and positive six is gone. And we have X equals positive four. Substitute positive four over here. We get four take away six equals negative two. Is that correct? Yes, it is. That is a true statement, which means we did it right. This one here, we will do the same thing. We will start on the variable side. We will eliminate all the numbers that are beside X. We don't like him. We like him. We want to leave X alone. But we have a negative four and we can kill a negative four with a positive four. These are like four good guys and they will obliterate the four bad guys, cops and robbers. Here's my imaginary wall that monkey likes to do after he's done seeing and he will put a plus four on this side as well. Make our equal line. Start right to left. It doesn't matter. We're going to get nine. We're going to get equals. Don't forget the equals. That's a common mistake. Kids forget the equals all the time. I'm going to tell you, don't forget it. We're going to drop the X. We can drop the positive and negative four and positive four. They're gone. And we get positive X equals nine, but we know positive doesn't have to be there. Just X equals nine. Do you want to substitute that in? Let's do it. Negative four plus nine equals five. Is that a true statement? Yes, it is. We did it right. But how do we do it with the tiles? Let's set it up. Let's do this. Let's go X, take away six. That's six blue. And that's going to be equal to negative two. So we will put two negatives on this side. If you're taking notes, you are drawing these. You can draw them as simple as, as simple as circles with a plus in them or a circle with a minus in them for these little baby ones. Now, the next step is we need to kill off all of the numbers beside the X. And the only thing beside the X is these four, these six blue ones. And we can kill them with six 
red ones. These are the good guys. They're coming in. They're going to do their job. And they're going to bash some bad guys in. Look what happens. They go, dish, 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 killed off. Oops, he lay, he stayed. Nope, he's gone. And on the other side, we need to add six red ones as well. Because that monkey, I tell you, I'm telling you, man, everything he sees, he does. So you put six on one side, you got to be fair to the other side. Let that monkey do it. Now look what happens. These two blue ones and these two red ones have a little fight. They're gone. Now look what you, what's left. We see X equals positive four. Isn't that what we got over here? X equals positive four. It works out the same way, baby. It's no different. That's how you do this algebra stuff. It's just, you know, a little bit of common sense with some good guy, bad guy logic. Let's do this one. We have negative four. And we have plus x. So we will take a plus x equals five positive. So we're going to go one, two, four, five. And don't forget your equal sign when you do this, ladies and gentlemen. Put that equal sign down. The rule states, Kill off all the bat, all the people beside the X. We don't care about this side. We want to get rid of these ones here. So no problem. We'll just get, um, we'll just get these four good guys. We'll put four positives, and on the other side, we'll put four positives. Because what does monkey see in monkey? What does he do? He does. I put too many here, so I, I don't need these ones. Now look what happens here. These kill off. We get an X equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. X equals 9. And on this side, it's very peaceful. They're all just good guys. Ah!